Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another Build It Better episode. Holy shit. We're bringing it back. We are bringing back the Build It Better. We are going to do like we just uh, like we did on the uh, Build It Better se uh, series and videos before. Not the original ones where I tried to uh, you know do step by step teaching of things. Uh, we're going to do it like I did when I switched over into this world, and we kind of went through. I built for a while, and then we went in, and I showed you some things to uh, to kind of inspire you and give you some ideas, and to uh, kind of see you know what I think about when I am building. Uh, this particular episode is going to be uh, obviously around the uh, the new shipyards that uh, I've been working on. I finally got back here and I've uh, got a shit ton done. I've spent the past two days. Uh, I couldn't even tell you how many hours I've got into um, redesigning everything. And um, I'm getting rid of the big ass roads that come through here. Uh, they were just placeholders. I know uh, a while back there was a few people that were... Uh, saying that they were way too big. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> Never hear a woman complain about that. <laughs> That's not true either. Anyways, <laughs> enough. I got sidetracked. Um, so yeah, naval port, uh, naval station, naval air base, um, <clears throat> anything in your world that has a port. Uh, hopefully this video will try to uh, kind of help you out a little bit, give you some ideas on what to look for. Uh, same thing when we started the Let's Build the Airfield. Uh, research, 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 and lots and lots of pictures. Um, it, it goes without saying, I don't know how many times, uh, you, I put more hours in research probably than I do in, in actually uh, building whatever I'm attempting to build, or at least comparable to the same amount of hours. Uh, I spent a lot of time sitting here watching different videos. Uh, I spent a lot of time on the wiki reading. Uh, I spend a lot of time collecting pictures, and I've got gigabytes just folders full of just pictures for each for each project that I'm working on. This particular project here, uh, obviously for each ship I've got a bunch, um, but around the docks and stuff, I used my trip down to see the uh, USS Enterprise uh, several years back uh, to kind of uh, re-inspire me and re kind of direct me into making some some new docks in uh, you know the street area in front of the docks. So a lot of this is heavily inspired by Norfolk. Um, so I'm not saying that you know all naval bases are like this, um, but Norfolk is is pretty close to this. Doesn't have the cranes. Uh, I'm still up in the air about the cranes. Uh, I like them, I do, uh, but I think they're more of a dry dock type situation. Um, we didn't really have these uh, on the docks uh, in Norfolk. We just uh, you know we just used regular you know like truck like truck cranes. You know they came in and lifted stuff up on if we needed it. Um, if it was, you know, something that we need a, you know, a lot of uh, serviceable work, uh, we would go over to Newport News and have that done, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, usually, if it's, uh, you know, big enough to get up on here, they've got something on the dock that, you know, they can drive in and lift it up anyway. So yeah, I'm still in the air on the, uh, on the cranes. Like I said, I like them. Uh, I'm just not sure if I want to keep them or not. <clears throat> and uh, it looks a little, I don't know, a little more cluttered with it. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, anyways, all right, let's start here on the outside. Got a lot of my vehicles I'm dropping in now, uh, my little Subaru vehicles, my Jeeps and stuff like that. Uh, heavily inspired uh, from Esterlon community to build some trucks. Uh, uh, all the visits and the reviews that I've done on their servers, uh, I've been, you know, really, really inspired by a lot of their, uh, the, got some really, really good builders over there, guys, and also on Yazzer's uh, Operation Realism. Be sure to go check out those, again, for some great inspiration and to kind of get you re-motivated into uh, to getting into these builds. Because I haven't uh, worked on this particular build in a long time. I just, I lost steam. I lost motivation. I kind of lost ideas. Um, same thing with the, uh, the shipping yard way over there. Uh, just just petered out and I just started working on something else and the nice thing about it is uh, you can get re-inspired you can come back and uh, man what a big big difference it makes when you take some time off and come back to a build so again that's you know that's one of the things that I preach in all my videos uh, in my tutorials and uh, in the, the original build it better series every video I try to say you know take a break go work on something else come back and look at it later because it will always look different you know a day two days a week two months down the road your skills will have improved you'll come back and you'll be like that looks like shit i'm gonna rip it out and i'm gonna rebuild it and uh and and that's what i've done i've just i've completely just obliterated this place and it looks 
amazing. I, I love my docks now. I, before, I was bored with them, and I, like I said, they just didn't look good. But anyways, uh, the trucks. Uh, so yeah, I borrowed a lot of the trucks uh, from uh, Estrelon community. I can't give credit to the person who did them because uh, there was no signs on them. Um, but I did take, um, I, I think maybe they were heavily inspired off of my trucks uh, because they looked a lot like mine. I only had to change just a few blocks on my truck, and, uh, and it kind of looks like um, several of the trucks that I saw over there on theirs. So maybe they, they were inspired by me, I was inspired by them, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, uh, the trucks look great now. Um, they definitely were missing some detail from years ago. Uh, and also some different blocks that we have now uh, that we didn't have back then. Uh, I think some of them I'm putting the mud flaps on now when I can get them in there. So just, you know, throwing some banners in there and then, you know, covering it up with uh, the stone right behind it. Uh, so that was a really good idea. Got us a little security car over here. Uh, really nice uh, sh uh, short wheelbase tanker truck. Uh, I like that. Maybe some fuel he's bringing in. Uh, we'll go down the docks here in just a minute. I just want to show you some of the other vehicles that I've got going. This was uh, one of my original trucks, and like I said, I just I changed a few blocks on it, and it, and it wasn't many, and uh, and it looks like the other ones. So yeah. Anyways, that's that's one of the original trucks. Uh, I got a, a pickup truck back here. Um, this one's a little small. Uh, it is a what is this? Uh, oh, it's a Legacy. Okay, so it's a Subaru Legacy. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little small compared to the, to the other trucks around here. So I'm not. I'm not sure, but you know, I mean, they, their their cars are small, you know, small Subaru cars, so maybe they'll be all right. <laughs> Anyways, we got a really awesome tow truck. Uh, I really, really like this design. Now they're on a server, so they can pull some different player heads uh, for the little beacons and stuff. I've got to use the uh, redstone torches. Uh, it would be nice if I could pull the, uh, uh, the the player heads in single player. I read somewhere that you could. I've tried it several times, and, and I can't get it to work. So. Uh, so be it, whatever. Uh, new dump truck. I saw that one. Looks really, really awesome. And uh, there's the uh, the short wheel based tanker again. I just changed the color on it. And then uh, we've got a recycle bin uh, truck that picks up the, uh, the recycle bins. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you call it. It's a recycle bin truck. And then we've got just the uh, the plane docks down here where the uh, the New York is and uh, the Wasp class amphibious assault. Uh, ships down here again it's, uh, it's pretty plain I haven't done nothing to it yet I'm just trying to get everything laid out uh, and you can see I did some a uh, little bit of world edit down there and repeated it it makes things a lot easier it makes things go a lot faster uh, it, would, it would suck if I'd have to build all the ship by hand uh, so anyways the main docks uh, the piers themselves this is what I've got going on uh, you can use any material that you want but I'm using another rack in, uh, in this texture pack and, uh, and I'm just taking up a, a solid beam, connecting it across here, and we're just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces in between, and then the cobblestone wall pieces in between that. Now originally I did not have the sidewalk here, um, just because it felt like it was it was too high, but uh, I've got used to it. I like it now. I think it I think it works out good. Uh, I, I, I need to have the raised sidewalks to eventually you know connect into the rest of the world um, and several of the other builds uh, hopefully that I can get you know planned out. It's going to take a lot of planning, guys. That's why I didn't do a let's build a naval base out of this one, um, just because I don't know. I'm just you know a couple days. I'm inspired, and then I might be off it for another week or two, and uh, and working on something else. So if we you know we'll just throw them into build it better uh, videos, and it just makes it a lot easier. Uh, so anyways, uh, where was I going? Oh, back to the main entrance. Uh, so again, uh, you've got your main security checkpoint onto each one of your docks. And it's a it's a pretty small small building. It doesn't take um, you know much space. There's usually you know one or two guard shack people here. You know they just they check your passes and they check all the paperwork for the trucks and things like that. Uh, all the military personnel that are coming and going, uh, they'll you know show their military ID here and then pass through the main gate part and then onto the piers. So yeah, it just uh, you know keeps people. You know, even though they got on the base, they got a base pass and stuff like that, not everybody is allowed on the ships. Um, you know, you have to be, you know, attached to whatever ship that you're going through on that pier. So that's why there is a security checkpoint there. Uh, added some mooring lines. Um, I, I played around with this in the past. I, I can't remember what ships I've used this on, uh, but I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, it's the Missouri. <laughs> oh, I've seen so much of that damn ship. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I've got the mooring lines. 
uh, attached to uh, the ships now down here in the bollards and uh, regular docks usually don't have this little piece sticking out um, it's just usually straight and flat like that and then there's a bunch of wood wooden pieces uh, big logs and stuff that are uh, strapped to the side of the dock um, for collision purposes uh, if they happen to bump into it and stuff like that uh, it doesn't uh, you know ruin the damn dock but this is minecraft that's not going to happen you know all my uh, tugboat operators they are perfect and uh, and they won't do that so i'm not worried about it <laughs> so anyways yeah the mooring lines look really good um pretty pretty satisfied with those um they've got a lot more yeah i mean there's like you know five six eight fucking lines coming out of the front of the ship down to the bollards and uh I, you can't do that in minecraft so i figured i'd just get a couple on the front get a couple on the back and that would be good enough uh redesign the stairs going up onto the uh, uh the elevator system and it's all just cobblestone wall pieces really really easy design but it looks really nice and then i just put uh gray carpet in between and now i didn't know this about this but if you try to walk up to it you can't you can't walk up the stairs but if you jump the first one and then hold forward they actually work like stairs uh found that by accident you guys are probably laughing probably i knew that i didn't <laughs> uh but anyways uh the gangplank going across and then uh you know put the uh, the blue signs on the side use this will say what ship it is uss enterprise or uh uss nimitz or whatever usually they got some nice banners that they hang uh on these and uh i've got them on that one too they're just not showing up uh, <clears throat> the other thing that i did a lot of work on is i went ahead and put my pad eyes in uh, all the way through the hangar bay <laughs> on all the elevators on the entire top yes guys i did this by hand very very limited world edit the only time i could use world edit is like this little straight stretch right here where i could just plop a couple in uh but yeah i had to count out each fucking one <laughs> hour and a half at least per ship and and uh each carrier is finished uh, the Ford, the Enterprise, and the Nimitz are completely done. Top and hangar bay. <laughs> so it just kind of gives you an idea of how much time I've got into these things. Uh, still got a lot of uh, the, uh, the flight deck to do on the New York. And then, of course, I got the two wasps down there. But holy shit. Uh, that, that's, that's another project for another day. I got tired of setting pad eyes. Um, so, yeah, I started working on something else. But I really like that. It definitely brings a lot more uh, interesting feature to the decks. And, uh, and it's supposed to be there anyways uh, they're just there's a lot more of them they're closer together and I didn't want to I didn't want to do that many so I thought a three a three block spacing I think is what I used uh, on each one uh, three away three by three I think I went so the one two three and then on the fourth block was the next run so there's a three three block space in between each run this way and then there's a three block space in between that way again if you're uh, if you're following along and you want to do the same thing on your ships, uh, again, it takes about an hour and a half to do uh, the top deck. The uh, hangar bay is not so bad because it was wide open, and I could use some world edit down there, and it, that actually went a lot quicker. Uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes inside there. And then um, the elevator's really easy. Uh, there's just a few of them on there. And that's pretty much it as far as the carriers go. Uh, also, too, we've got... Um, some collision barges down here I, I, again i'm not real sure on the technical term uh, i just know that there's some barges that sit in between the docks uh, and the ship so when they tugboat it in they push that in between again there's usually wood here to keep from things getting damaged and then they tie this off and then they pull the ship tight against that so it you know keeps the you know the ship from from going out and then also it's a good staging area for them to put any kind of repair work uh, that they might have to do on the ship they'll stage a bunch of material down here that uh, they might you know they might need uh, off the deck of uh, uh, the docks to save space <clears throat> They'll put it down here and stage it, uh, welding machines, stuff like that for divers if they've got to go off. Um, so I've put a couple of those in on each one here and here. And then the Enterprise is a little bit closer to the dock, so this, this one's a little bit smaller. Uh, but it's, it's still there. And I tried to center it up over this, this pier piece. Uh, and that's, you know, I didn't really want to get underneath the elevator. So it's, it's off center a little bit, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the other thing uh, we'll notice in the water is the anti-pollution barrier. Uh, basically, it's like a big floating barrier, water barrier. Uh, so if any kind of oils or gases spill into the water, uh, when it's in port, uh, obviously oil floats. Uh, it will stay with contained within this here. 
Uh, again, like I said, if they rupture something, there's a lot of fuel on board uh, the carriers. Um, any ship, really. Uh, there's there's a lot of different diesel fuels and oils and stuff like that. Uh, so it's, it's it's mandatory that you know you know they put this uh, these water barriers around the ships when they're in port just in case something should go wrong. Uh, uh, let's see. Other than that, uh, just clean things up a little bit. Put some parking spaces uh, down here, further down the docks. And I put those at an angle. Uh, I won't be putting any vehicles at an angle just because I I don't really care for vehicles at angles. Um, I just that's not one of my one of my things that I. <laughs> I'll be using in my world anytime soon. Got some more mooring lines down here, and you can see it's a little bit further away, but this is the front uh, and then the back of this one. <clears throat> now, the carriers are usually flip flopped. Uh, the starboard side of each ship usually faces the port or the, the docks uh, because we've got two, eleva two elevators here uh, so we can get a lot of military personnel on and off and also supplies and stuff like that plus the towers right here so they can you know they can see the dock a lot easier uh, it's the same way with underway replenishment it's always on the starboard side with the carriers just because uh, like I said you know the bridges up there they can see everything really really good and control things a lot better even though it's getting pushed in with a tugboat uh, like I said those are some you know some of the reasons why that uh, you'll see the carriers are flip-flopped against the docks like that. Uh, at least they were in Norfolk. <laughs> and uh, the Gerald Ford is flipped around too down there. Uh, the other thing I've got here is the, uh, the port security barriers. I've started putting those in. Uh, basically, it's a it's a crash barrier. Um, it's a it's a floating steel barrier with uh, uh, bars on it or netting or some kind of shit. Um, there's actually some newer stuff out. I think it's Halo Barrier. Ha Halo Barrier, I think, is what it's called. Uh, you can look it up. Uh, it's 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 bright orange, and uh, basically it's for um, uh, those that remember. It was in the news, the USS Cole uh, that that got attacked by the speedboat, and it did like pff, I don't know how many billions of dollars damage, and uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure some sailors died on it. But anyways, the the biggest reason was that is a speedboat came in and ran right into the side of the ship, and it, it exploded and caused some massive massive damage. <clears throat> and like I said, and casualties too. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, it was a long time ago, and uh, you know my, my mind's a little fuzzy on the the actual incident. But anyways, uh, there are barriers, security barriers outside of the ships that get opened up when they uh, when they come in and they leave. Uh, I've put little uh, gate things right here where you can pull it apart. Uh, there'll be a boat will come up to it. Uh, somebody will lean over and disconnect the uh, uh, the gates here. Uh, I've never been out close enough. I'm assuming that's how it works. Uh, and then they just they hook it up to the boat, and then they just back it up, and then they you know they open it up like a big gate. Uh, so I started putting that in. Uh, I think that's some really nice detail. It, it looks it looks good. At first I wasn't happy with it. I was like, man, that's going to ruin my waterway. Uh, but the more I look at it, uh, I like it. It it looks like uh, you know like my uh, my Norfolk pictures that I have. Uh, but other than that, uh, spacing on the docks uh, is is all the same. It's the same thing all the way around. Uh, what was it? Nine, nine or eleven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's a pillar. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in between. Okay, so the the long runs are thirteen, pillar at seven, um, and then your spacing here. Again, you don't have to put this out and around unless you want to, and uh, I still have not straightened these out yet. There we go, and uh, I'm sure I've got some other ones to uh, to mess around with. Uh, but other than that, that's that's pretty much all I really wanted to cover on the um, uh, the main docks for your naval stations or you know whatever uh, kind of port that you have. Hopefully, this will give you some inspiration, and some ideas on on how to moor your ships up uh, in your port. <laughs> Looking for uh, for the right words. Oh, we got uh, some uh, generators or some power equipment right here. Uh, basically for you know service personnel to hook into and uh, and, and use uh, drop big power lines and run power equipment too so I've got a couple of those sitting there too uh, but yeah that's that's pretty much it guys I just uh, I really wanted to uh, show everybody what I've been doing here uh, in my naval station and, uh, and 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 get you guys pumped about it I had thought I've been thinking about doing a let's play for a long time with this, uh, but I just had so much work that needed to be done, and uh, I just 
I, a lot of it was just off camera work, just, you know, sitting here relaxing, uh, building, not having to worry about, you know, uh, trying to worry about something to talk about while I'm trying to build a lot of the repetitive stuff that, that gets, uh, that gets built. So it's nice. Uh, I, I decided tonight to go ahead and do a, uh, a build it better video. And I, and I think, uh, I think that's going to work out, uh, even better <laughs> for the naval yard and eventually the the shipping docks down here when we uh, when we get back over those and when we get back over the city I'm dying to get back over to the city and start building in that again too but I'm only one man and there's only so much that I can do but anyways like always guys I appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and remember if it looks like shit tear it down blow it up or just build it better and we'll catch you guys on the next one later